welcome to my channel. I'm Rosa Maria. I have a quick and simple project for us to make today and is the baby birth cloth. This is great for beginners and also especially for those who want to practice on their straight stitchings. This is it. And this project only takes three steps and you can complete it within 10 minutes. This is a beautiful baby gift for your friends and family. And as you can see, I made a couple of them. And you have the options to choose what kind of fabric you want to use. You can use flannel, you can use cotton for the exterior, and for the interior, you can use chenille. Chenille is a very soft, absorbent fabric. And also you can use terry cloth which is also a soft and absorbent fabric. So you can choose which you prefer to use for your project. I have listed all the tools and materials needed in the description box below. I also provided a link where you can purchase the materials so you can start working on your sewing project. So let's move on to the first step so we can get started on our sewing project. I have some extra fabric that I'm going to be using. Um, before you start your project, make sure you iron out all the creases out of your fabric. And I created a template. You can use cardstock or you can use a file folder like I did here. And you cut out, you could cut it out and make sure the measurement is nine and a half inches by 16 and a half inches. And what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to take the printed side and I'm going to face it down. And I'm going to take my template and I'm going to use my friction pen here. Make sure you use a friction pen or a washable pen. Um, that will be great because if you make a mistake, all you have to do is take your iron, press it, and the ink will remove. So I am going to align it carefully. And then as you can see, I am going to mark my pen. And I'm gonna continue. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna continue to uh, outline your template all around and then we'll come back and talk about the next step. As you can see here, I already cut out the fabric and I am making sure that the printed size facing up so I can take my terry cloth and place it on top. And I wanna make sure it's nicely aligned. And I'm gonna take my clips here and I'm going to clip the terry cloth and the fabric together. And I'm going to continue to clip all around, but I'm going to make sure that I leave a three inch gap here. And by leaving the three inch gap there um, is allowing me to turn the fabric inside out. So I'm going to continue to clip. And for, for me, I usually will use a pen. And this pen is kind of like a reminder for myself not to close this three inch gap here. Okay, once you finish clipping everything, let's take it to the sewing machine. We're at the sewing machine. I am going to now place my fabric over here aligned. And I'm gonna lower the needle. And I'm going to stitch all around the fabric. And I'm gonna use uh, a 3 8 seam allowance for that. I'm going to back stitch and continue to sew. 
once I get here, I am going to lift my lever and lower it. And then I'm going to continue to sew all the way down. Continue to sew all the way around the fabric until you get to the other end um, where I have here the pin and that's where we're going to stop. I went a little bit ahead of myself and I cut um, the corners of each of these fabric and do the same thing but make sure that when you do cut it you don't cut right on the stitches. You want to avoid doing that. Okay, now that we finished sewing all around the fabric, and here we have the opening that we left, and now we are going to turn the fabric inside out. You can use your fingers to help move and shift things, especially here at the corner. I wanna make sure the corner looks good. Let me get to the other corner here. I've got another corner here to go. Okay. And then taking it to the iron. And once we take it to the iron, we just want to make sure that we iron it well. And I'm going to show you that next step and how to close this end here and to start stitching over okay i am here at the wool felt mat and i'm going to use this so i can iron and i'm going to start over here at this corner i'm going to gently kind of roll things out just to make sure that everything is smoothed out and make sure that your iron is nicely ready and hot and has steam and I'm going to start to gently iron okay. now that I'm coming over here at the end here where we left the three inch opening I am going to make sure it's folded very nicely and I'm going to press with my iron and now that I finish pressing it down I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and I'm going to top stitch and again I'm going to use a 3 8 seam allowance okay I'm at the sewing machine I'm going to lower the needle. Back stitch. As I get to the corner, I'm gently just pivot and lower the foot and continue sewing down. Gently take my time, pivot, lower the foot, and continue sewing. Um, just continue sewing all around the fabric, and then I uh, will show you the next step. Now we have finished, and we finished sewing our baby birth cloth. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. And if you're not a subscriber, click on the red subscribe button and also click on the bell. And by clicking on the bell, you too will notify you every time I upload a new video. So I hope you enjoy your rest of your day. Until next time, bye.